Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Umfus world example in artificial intelligence. Also, I will discuss PEA's description of Umfus world example. Umfus world is a cave consisting of 4x4 connected rooms with passageways. It means uh, there are totally 16 rooms are there. There is a knowledge based agent you can notice here. The knowledge based agent is present in room number or the square 1, 1 here. He can move forward in this world. In this cave, uh, there is a room where the beast is present. That beast is known as the Umphus here. Whenever uh, someone enters uh, this room, the beast will eat that particular person. The agent has a single arrow. With the help of this arrow, the agent can kill or shoot this uh, Umphus in this case. There are some rooms where the bottomless uh, pits are there. Whenever agent uh, falls into this uh, pit, the agent will die here. Occasionally, there are some rooms where the gold is present. The goal of uh, this game is to collect the gold and exit the world without uh, eaten by the Umphus in this case. This is how the Umphus world example looks like. Now we will discuss uh, the PEAS description of Umphus world example. The PEAS stands for Performance Environment actions and sensors. First, we will discuss the performance measure of Umphus world example. Whenever the agent uh, comes out of this cave with gold, he will be awarded with uh, 1000 points. Whenever agent falls into the pit or he is eaten by the Umphus, then he will be awarded with uh, minus 1000 points. Whenever agent performs an action, maybe move forward, turn left by 90 degree, grab the gold, something like that, a minus one point will be rewarded. That means uh, one point will be deducted from his uh, reward. And whenever agent uses the arrow to shoot this uh, umphus, minus 10 reward will be given. That means uh, 10 points will be deducted here. The game ends whenever the agent uh, dies or the agent comes out of this cave with gold. The second component of uh, PEA's description is environment. As discussed earlier, the environment contains a 4x4 grid of rooms with uh, passageways. There is a knowledge based agent here. There are some rooms where bottomless uh, pits are there. There is a room where the beast is present, as well as uh, there is some rooms where the heap of gold is found in this case. Initially, the agent is present in 1, 1, the umphus gold or the pit can be present anywhere apart from 1 comma 1 in this case coming back to the next component that is actions there are different actions the agent can perform the first one is uh, he can perform move forward to go from one room to other room the second one is whenever you want to go to left side first he has to turn left by an angle of 90 degree and then he can perform move forward here that's uh, another one Whenever the agent wants to go right side, he has to perform turn right by an angle of 90 degree and then he can perform again move forward in this case. So these are the three actions he can perform uh, with respect to moving from one square to other square in this case. The next is uh, the grab. Grab means uh, whenever he is present in a room where gold is present, he can grab that gold with the help of grab action here. And then uh, whenever he finds the umphus in front of uh, him, he can uh, perform shoot action so that he can fire the arrow uh, towards uh, the umphus in this case. And the last action is uh, whenever uh, he wants to come out of this uh, cave, he can perform the climb action. He can perform climb action only when he is present in uh, 1, 1. He cannot perform the climb action apart from 1, 1 in this case. So these are six actions uh, the agent can perform. That is uh, move forward turn left by 90 degree, turn right by 90 degree, grab the gold, shoot an arrow and climb out of this uh, cave in this case. Coming back to the last component that is known as the sensors. The agent is equipped with uh, five sensors here. The first sensor is uh, used to sense the stench. Whenever uh, the agent is present in a room where the umphus is present or adjacent to umphus room, he will be able to perceive the stench. That is nothing but the bad odor here. That means uh, whenever he is present in this room, that is 1, 2, he will sense uh, the stench here because this room is uh, adjacent to the umphus in this case. 
whenever he is present in the 1 comma 4 again he will sense the stench the reason behind this one is uh, this room is adjacent to the umphus here whenever he is present in this room that is 2 comma 2 he will not uh, sense the stench because it is not adjacent to the umphus in this case so this is the first sensor which is used to sense or perceive the stench the second sensor is to sense the breeze whenever the agent is present adjacent to pit he will sense the breeze so whenever he is present in this 2 comma 1 he will sense the breeze because uh, it is adjacent to pit here so whenever he is present in 2 comma 2 again in this particular room he will not be able to perceive or uh, a sense breeze here because this uh, room is not adjacent to pit in this case the third sensor is the glitter so whenever agent is present in a room where gold is present he will perceive the glitter that means the gold is present he can execute the grab action so that he can grab that gold in this case whenever agent walks into the wall he will perceive a bump in this case and the last uh, sensor is whenever umphus uh, killed it emits a awful uh, scream that can be perceived anywhere in this particular the cave here the output of five sensors will be given as an input to the agent program so based on the current percept the agent program will perform different actions here so we'll take a simple example in this case let's say that the agent has perceived the stench breeze but not the glitter bump and uh, scream the agent program will get the following uh, input that is the first component is stench because the agent uh, has uh, sensed or perceived the stench that will be stench here the second component is with respect to breeze the agent has sensed or perceived the breeze so that's the reason breeze is present here the third component is with respect to glitter the agent has not perceived glitter so that's the reason none here the agent has not perceived bump that is the fourth component and the fifth component is the agent hasn't heard a scream so that's the reason it is again none in this case so this is how the sensor output will look like and it will be given as an input to the agent program based on the current uh, percept the agent program will select an action and then the action will be executed with the help of the actuators in this case so this is how the pas description of umphus world example will look like in the next video i will discuss uh, how can agent will go from the initial state that is 1 comma 1 to the room where the gold is present and then he will grab the gold and come out of this uh, cave successfully or uh, without being eaten by the umphus or falling into this uh, pit i will Place that particular link into the description below. I hope the concept of Umphus World example as well as the PS description is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.